Okay, on this video, we are going to uh, work on this uh, cylinder support assignment. I do have a solution sheet basically posted for you, which looks like this after you complete the model and also generate your multi view drawing using our template. And um, basically, um, what you need to in this case uh, to use these dimensions, and plus, there is a uh, isometric view on your textbook of which shows this one with all the dimensions and so to begin this uh, we will uh, start with the top view this one and create a simple sketch and not to be concerned about all this detail inside and cut because we're going to use the tool called chamfer to create these cuts so let's just uh, start inventor and uh, work on your assignment there um, so once you have started uh, inventory with the uh, English unit start a new sketch on um, XZ plane I'm going to switch back to the isometric view so I can see my orientation here clearly but I want to stay on the uh, paper layout the longer side or X to be my longer side because remember that x y is always comes as a base so i'm going to look in this direction here to be x y to be a top uh, front view rather uh, so for that i'm going to start with the circle and draw a rectangle two points rectangle and then going in this direction so this view helps me to see what direction i'm going to be similar to what shows an original pictorial view on your textbook so let's add some basic dimensions here and that will be from the center of the circle to this one is given 5.25 okay now we could go back to the top view here Oops. top view and then Okay, let's see the orientation on top view. And now we're going to trim this, this arc and we'll probably get rid of this line too. We don't need them. And add tangents to circle and line, arc and line. And basically we have one dimension needed because it's the radius of this arc, which is two. Now it's a simple sketch. We can finish the sketch and then basically uh, extrude this when we extrude this to the total height then come back and change later we could do that or you could go one inch and add another rectangle either way is possible uh, let's do this one inch one inches and then we come back to this face here and create another rectangle here that's something we could do and this rectangle just place them there and then find out how much you're going to keep uh, to cut 3.25 from this side so that is two that leaves you with one from this edge or, or one from the center to this or you could have dimension four on this side uh, that's either way so that would be four inches from here to here it's four and if you s snap to these corners you don't need another dimension here as you see this fully constrained and finish a sketch so what we can do now add this little extra piece here to join that to be 1.5 which total makes it 2.5 Oops, let me see. It looks like I typed something. Let me go back to the edit feature, see what I typed here. Yes, I did type 2.5. It should be 1.5 because total is 2.5. We already have 1 plus 1.5, one so we be 2.5. Now, the new thing here on this one that you're going to learn is that should, using the chamfer command, you have used this before for maybe uh, 45 degree, that's the default. 
but let's just do the default first maybe or let's do this one first this cut that you see on the 60 degrees shows on the top view so to do that you're going to go to chamfer and select the second option or the middle option here which is the distance and angle distance and angle so we do know the distance we know the angle they are not equal uh, equal distance is not 45 degrees but so we will decide based on our illustration here that shows on this drawing that you have uh, this 60 degrees and you need to know the distance from here to here depending on which plane you're going to select I'm going to pick this face and find this distance which is 4 minus 2.25 4 minus 2.25 would be 1.75 from here to here let's see go back to oops So I'm going to select the middle option and the, looking for the face. So this tab shows face. This would be the face we will select. The one is highlighted green there. And now we're going to pick the edge. Notice that as soon as you pick the face, switches to the edge or edges. In this case, we have this edge to select. This is the place cuts happen here. Oops, I am in the wrong tool. Sorry about that. It looks like we are. Did I select the chamfer? Yes, I am in the. Yeah, I'm okay. So, what happened here? Oh, I have not set the dimension yet. That's so small. Um, so, it's going to be 60 degrees. And the distance here is going to be um, one point. Seven, five. That's what we calculated, right? Okay, so that would be the distance and 60 degrees and then selected this middle one. Okay, that should fix our angle on this direction. Now, the next angle is this one. This is uh, basically 45 degrees. So go back to the chamfer. And this time you select the first choice. This is the default. Go back to that and select the edge only and then set the distance to be one in this case select the edge okay that cuts that one too so idea was to create that of course you can create this in different way by creating your sketch uh, make the angle in the sketch then extrude that's another choice but i just wanted to do experience with this chamfer tool without creating another extra sketches and also makes it simple your original base sketch okay so that's all is done we have two uh, holes to also a little cut on this one here. Let's do that cut. Pick the face and then draw a circle. Make sure the circle is exactly in the middle so you can align that with the origin. So you don't have to add another extra dimension there. And this one you can just dimension the diameter of this circle. It's supposed to be 2.5 radius of 1 and quarter so it would be 2.5 diameter that should be fully constrained as you see here because I just picked the midpoint here of this edge and which is aligned with this origin and then I finish the sketch extrude a cut cut in direction that is going to be down how far it's going to go is 0.75 is given on the side view here, as you see, this 0.75 is this depth of that piece. So you're going to have that one. 0.75. That takes care of that piece. And then you have two holes to create here. Um, we do have a, a dimension that would be we need to calculate that size of this, where is located this um, hole. If we go back to that sketch, we have two holes. One is the concentric with this one, that's simple. And this one uh, depends on where you are measuring from. In this case, it would be easier to pick from this end edge. If you can calculate that, how far is this circle from this edge? So we have 
two uh, here and this is total is 5.25 so it leaves you with uh, uh, exactly two from this maximum edge to the center two and this way also we have one so it would be two from the this edge to the center let's go back to create that hole use the hole feature and select a simple hole make sure that you have selected nothing except that the, this one is simple hole um, location is somewhere here from this distance is one actually that was with one and the size of this hole is also given 0.75 this point 75 and now the location we are going to dimension that from let's just move this to the side here so we can rotate them see from if we pick this edge here see if that would be from there we decide that it's two okay so that takes care of that hole let's finish that and repeat this hole a feature for this one this one is uh, going to be 1.25 is the diameter of the hole and you have also concentric relations make sure that you pick that concentric relations with the arc and okay so that completes our modeling construction part of this drawing and of course you're going to save your work and uh, add the material accordingly and then you create the multi-view drawn at detailed dimensions okay then we need to save our work and that completes our assignment so we say with that name cylinder support and save. Okay, we'll see you on next video.